Hello. Hello, good night, teacher. Good evening, Claudia. How are you doing today? Good evening, I teacher. Good. Hello, Rafael. Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thank Hi, you. Karen. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing, guys? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Rosa. Is everybody ready to start a class? <laughs> I'm ready, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I saw your faces like, oh, yeah, teacher. Yes, we're ready. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think you are ready, okay? I think you are ready to start the class tonight. And um, this is a topic that it's about meaning, okay? It's about meaning, what you mean, really, okay? Then is when we have to decide if you are using if or if you are using when, right? <laughs> it's about meaning, okay? Hello, Juan. All right. All right. I see that you are at work, but we need that at the time of the um, uh, breakup rooms, please join your room, okay? Hello, Ricardo. How are you doing tonight? I'm glad you could make it. I'm really glad you could make it today. Yes. Thank you, okay. Pedro, hello. All right. Yes. Good evening. Welcome. Okay. You will be as a listener tonight. All right. Uh huh. Let's look at Andrea is coming in. Hello, Andrea. Hello, teacher. How are you doing today? <laughs> Fine. Great. Hello, Hernan, Eric, Blanca. Welcome, guys. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Henry. Hazel, hello. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Okay. We are going to start a class, guys. We have two call the roll. So please, everybody get ready in order to do that. All right, Hazel. Yeah, thank you for your text message. Mm -hmm. uh, in order to do that, remember that requirements from Ansaforp, we need to listen to you saying present, okay? It's necessary to say present when the teacher calls your name. Mm -hmm. By the way, what date is today? Today is Thursday, October 18th. October uh, the 18th, yes. Mm -hmm. The... Mm -hmm. 2022. Yes, of, of, of 2022. Yes. 2022. Okay. Correct. Okay, people. So, Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Okay. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio, Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Present teacher. Elenilson Aparicio del CID. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. I like to hear your voice, Eric, very peacefully. Yes. All right, let's see, Eric, okay. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. 
Present teacher. Okay, Henry Alberto Perez Rosales. Here I am, teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Presente, teacher. Okay, Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Karen Camelet Rivas de Ayala. Thank you, Juan. Present, Karen. teacher. Thank you, Karen. Magdiel Esau García Morales. Present, teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. There you are. Nice. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Present teacher. Okay. Rosa del Carmen Santa Maria Tobar. Present teacher. Good. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Wilber, aren't you in yet? No, yet. Jose Abelis Aguirre Mendoza. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sanchez. Thank you, Pedro. All right. Let's get started then. We are going to introduce the class because we have to do that first. All right. Let's remember that we are developing unit four, right? Unit four. What's the general topic of unit four, remember? Do you remember? Go to your notes. Mm -hmm. Let's read in this slide, company procedures and policies, okay? Procedures, esta nos da un poquito de hard time uh, cuando la pronunciamos, ¿verdad? Procedures, procedures and policies, policies, okay? So, this is unit four. And today you are in your video conference number 19. Yeah! Woo! Bravo! We are in our last conference, but one, okay? Last but one conference. It means uh, ante penultim, okay? Ante penultima, okay? Last by, I'm sorry, last but one, okay? Last but one. So it's missing only one video conference. Yay! Congratulations, guys. You are doing a really good job here. You are doing a really good job. And I want to encourage you to practice, okay? To practice. So let's continue here. The topic for today, vocabulary practice, okay? Today we have our vocabulary practice. Tomorrow we are going to do a review from the whole unit, unit four. Today we are going to practice some vocabulary that uh, it's really important for us to recall, okay? Because all this module was about policies, procedures, processes, steps uh, to follow in order to accomplish something or to do something, have something done, all right? So we are going to practice some vocabulary here. And the vocabulary we want to practice is described in this objective, okay? Can you read the objective for tonight, please, Rafael uh, Alexander? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Can you read the objective? Okay, the class objective is by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to give and understand instructions using imperatives. 
Yes, so this is the vocabulary we want to review, okay? We want to review giving instructions, but also understanding instructions, okay? Because we have a boss who gives us instructions. We have to read manuals, we have to read policies, and we have to follow rules, and we have to complete procedures. So we need to understand imperatives, all right? Orders, commands, and the agenda for tonight, okay? Alguien quiere leerme la agenda, por favor? Someone of you, please read the agenda. Yo, teacher. Thank you. Please go, Rosa. Class agenda. Uh, feedback, page 44. Uh, class topic and objective presentation. Uh, Simon says game. Yay. Role play conversation on page 45. Break a room. Writing exercise complete. Page 46. Session 101 available. Thank you very much, Rosa. Good job reading. Okay. Let's look at the number three. Who wants to do number three now? Who wants to do number three now? Mm -hmm. But first we have to do the feedback, okay? <laughs> you see, page 44. Let's go to our page 44. And then we are going to practice. And well, uh, yeah, in a game. We are going to practice in a game. All right. Let's move, let's move everyone to your page 44. One second, allow me to do this better. Okay, we want to recall these because it's really important. When you want to ask for permission, you have some reasons. Um, that are worthy, okay? Uh, there are some others that you just get a discount because they don't accept your reason when you ask for permission, right? There are some things that when you say it's personal, but you have to explain what is the reason and they decide if they are going to grant you the permission or if they are not. Okay, so let's think about the situations in which you could request permission and your job. Okay, let's think about at least two. Okay. Uh -huh. Everybody thinking, please. Everybody thinking. Let's read. It says, make a list of situations in which you could request permission and your job. Okay. For sickness. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. What else? For personal reasons. Okay. Personal reasons. Mm -hmm. A social event, like uh, an important event. Okay, important event. Mm -hmm. Like a graduation of my brother or something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? Let's think about just one more. When I have a, some member of my family is sick. Okay. A member, a family member, right? A family, family member is sick, okay? And nobody else can take care of him or her, right? Mm -hmm. You are the designated, right, to take care of that person, all right? Mm -hmm. 
It could be a son. It could be a daughter. It could be your mom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, now let's think about all of these reasons, permissions, procedure. If you want to ask for a permission for any of this, is the same procedure? Is, do you follow the same procedure in your job to ask for these uh, permissions? Yesterday we say we usually do, right? Even though you are not able to do it at the time that you are making a call, okay? But when you return to your company, then you have to complete your form, right? You have to complete your, your permission form. All right. Now let's think, okay, that, vaya, pensemos así. Uno de sus compañeros necesita... Eh, ausentarse, ¿ok? Y nosotros le vamos a explicar a ese compañero cuál es el procedimiento a seguir, ¿ok? Eso es lo que vamos a tratar de decir ahorita en some words. Una de las cosas es que cuando ayer estudiamos, ayer estábamos estudiando, por acá, voy a subir aunque suban las letras, ¿ok? Por acá estábamos estudiando un procedimiento. Do you remember when we were reading? Okay. This is a procedure. Okay. This is a procedure. It has steps to follow, right? It has steps to follow. For example, we start by the first step. We want to explain these steps to our uh, colleague. All right. So let's think about that. Okay. Le voy a preguntar a algunos de ustedes. Que me expliquen un poquito ese procedimiento que estaba allá arriba. ¿Ok? A ver, ¿lo recuerdan? ¿Recuerdan el procedimiento? Y todos decían, este, uh, sí, teacher. Ajá, sí. <ríe> ok, no. vamos a recordarlo, vamos a recordarlo. Uh, Don't worry. Yes, teacher. Teacher, you remember? Procedure to request permission. Ok, ok. Ajá. ¿Y se acuerda de todos los pasos? Do you remember all the steps? So all right, all right. But imagine a colleague asks you, hey, what's the permission procedure here? How can I ask for a permission? What's the procedure I have to follow? Uh, then you explain this to your colleague. This is what we are going to try to do right now, okay? And some simple words simple words, but remember that when we say something uh, to a person, I mean, when we say to this person what to do, remember we are giving commands, right? We are using imperatives, all right? So let's go back to the procedure. I will erase these things. Okay, and let's read the procedure again. Let's read the procedure again, okay? A ver, Blanca, read the first three, and then Ricardo, read four, five, and six. Then uh, Magdiel, read seven, eight, and nine, all right? So okay. let's start. Let's get started with this. Procedure to request permission. First, print the request for, uh, form that is available on the intra, in, internet. Second, fill out the form. Third, write the reason for the permission. Four, write the time and day you will be absent. Five, specify it if it's due to medical or personal reason. Six, six ask uh, for the department manager's signature. And present the form at the human resources office. 
The human resources assistant will recite the form and sign it if it is accepted. If the human resources assistant does not accept for the form, form the permission is denied. 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 Oh, All right. Mm -hmm. Este este trabalenguas que está acá. This tongue twister. Sign it if sign it is. Sign yeah. it if it is. Sign it. If, if it is. is, all right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this word is accepted, accepted. Accept. Uh -huh. It's not accepted, it's ac accepted, all right? Accepted. Accepted. All yeah. right, guys, so now we remember the steps of this procedure. We want to give the explanation or tell a classmate, our colleague, what's the procedure, all right? So let's start. Uh huh. Let's listen to Rosa. Please, you are going to be the first one. Okay. You have to explain, Karen, what's the procedure to request a permission. And Karen, you may ask free. I mean, feel free to ask questions to Rosa. Okay. There you are. No comprendí, teacher. <laughs> okay, usted le va, okay. Rosa is going to explain to Karen what's the procedure, okay? So all the steps. And Karen is going to ask questions if she has a doubt, all right? Mm, okay, sería okay. todas las, el procedimiento. Sí, hágalo así como más sencillo. ¿Cómo le explicaría usted a un compañero de trabajo? Va, mira, anda, trae, ah, te va, okay. y después va, chévere. Ok, that's what you're going to do in English. There you are. Eh, Karen, procedure to request permission. Um, first, a print request form is available in internet. Um, and fill out the form. Um, a right, a right in the reason, a permission, um, right a time you will be asked to specify is, is to medical or personal reason, is specify if it is, uh, you know, ask um, for department managers, a signature, Mm, present the foreign human resource office and um, I teacher <laughs> human resource a human resource assistant will inform and sign it is accepted and in the human resource uh, assistant not after the for permission is denied. Okay, Karen, ask a question. You got all the procedure? Did you get it? Pregúntele lo yes. que usted necesite preguntarle a Rosa del procedimiento. Hey, mira, ahí tengo que hacer esto. O sea, that's what we want to do now. Okay. How many times I have to make a request? before that the permission. Okay, Rosa, you got the idea? A many time. Two days, three days before that the permission. Yeah. One day. Ah, okay. One day. Ajá. Va, hagamos esa pregunta. Está bonita su pregunta. Vamos a ver. How many days? Uh -huh. How many days in advance? Así sería. In advance, do I have to ask for the permission? Okay. Uh, I need one day. You need. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. la respuesta sería, you, you need, need one day. 
to do it one day before. Okay, before the permission date. Okay, excellent. Nice, I love this. Thank you very much, guys. You did a very good job. So now, mm -hmm, we are going to ask Andrea, please explain the procedure to Rafael Alexander, okay? He needs permission and he doesn't know how to ask for the permission in the company. Andrea? Se nos desconectó Andrea. Okay, then let's look for Henry. Henry, please. Are you available now? Yes, teacher. Okay, please explain the procedure to Rafael. Okay. Okay, Rafael. <laughs> You first, uh, you need to print, uh, print the request request form. Uh, this is a uh, find on the internet of company. Next, you fill out of the form. Uh, uh, next, uh, write the reason for you. You do you the one you need a uh, permission. And for write write the time and day you will be absent. Next, specify is a personal reason or medical reasons. And and then ask for the department manager's signature. And present the formal and the human resource. The office is the next door. The human resource assistance will receive the form and see not seen it if it accepted. And, and human resource uh, say no is accepted. You now have a permission. <laughs> Great. Very good. Now, Rafael, ask any question if you had a doubt. Uh, thank, you, man, for the <laughs> thank you, man, for the time. You waste to explain to me. Um, I have a question. Uh, what happens if I need a permission for a study? For study. Right. It's a personal it's a personal reason. It's, okay. Thank you. If I need uh... if I need permission for for class. Uh, study. For... Re recordemos que usamos los infinitivos para dar una razón, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm -hmm. to o el propósito, ¿verdad? So, to study. Okay. To study. Mm -hmm. Study. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To study. Yeah, to study. And then the answer was, well, well it's okay. It's, right. It's a... Uh huh. You specify it is a personal, personal, personal matter. Reason. Oh, okay. Mm. Personal reason. Reason también puede ser matter, okay? A personal matter. matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. A personal matter. A situation that it is personal. Okay. All right. There you are. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. Now, I think everybody has uh, clear how we um, explain the procedures, how we explain what to do and how to do it. We use steps and we use imperatives, remember? So you say, print the form, right? And it says, print out the form from, where is the form? Where can I find the, the form? Where can I find the form? In the intranet. All right, so that's the way. All right, let's move forward just a little bit. 
Okay, let's move, move forward just a little bit. Ajá. Yo sé que ya están esperando el paso número tres de nuestra agenda. Do you remember? The step three. Ajá. I know you want to play. Simon says. Ajá. 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 Simon says. Say, I want to I wanna play a game. I'm afraid. <laughs> Are I, you? I'm afraid. With, with the scary voice. With the scary voice. Uh, I, I see the teacher uh, and I'm afraid. Like that. <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, this is uh, to have fun and to learn, right? This is educational purposes, all right? <laughs> this is for educational purposes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bien, vamos a darnos una paseadita por Simon Says, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, todos listos, everybody ready. Vamos a hacer la primera prueba. ¿Ya han jugado Simon Says, everyone? I Have you know. ever played Simon Says? Ok. No. Simon Says is a game where I am going to give you some orders, but you are going to do the things that I you to do. But if I say Simon says, if I don't say Simon says, then, and you do it, then you lose the game, all right? Then you are out of the game, all right? So, pero aquí no vamos a sacar a nadie, no se preocupen. No hay puerta para salir, ¿no? ¿verdad? Si se salen, nos descuentan las horas del attendance score. <laughs> okay. Ahí se permanece y seguimos participando, ¿ok? So, let's... Vamos a hacer una pequeña prueba. ¿Ok? Give me one second and I have to... Get ready here. Ok. Don't worry, we are going to do only hands movements at the beginning, all right? We are going to do just some uh, hands movements or motion of our hands, all right? Okay, then, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Just allow me to follow this. Ok, la idea es que nos veamos, chicos. Si no nos vemos, no voy a saber quién se equivocó y quién no. A ver, turn your cameras on. Turn your cameras on. All right. Hmm? And here we go. First thing we want to do, ok. Simon says, right hand up. Right hand up, okay? Simon says, left hand up, okay? Yes, there you are, left hand up. All right, now, wave your right hand. Everybody loses. Everybody loses you, except you don't say except, Simon say yeah you say, except you, you, Karen. You use the left. Did I? You, you use no. The this left is my right. One? This is my right this hand. Is, this is but my right. You didn't say my watch Simon is, says. is in the left. This is my right. Look, but Simon, <laughs> but Simon doesn't say. Yeah, and, and I can. But okay. <laughs> uh, can you? All right, all right, you can do it. Well, look, aha. La idea es que si no lo dijo Simon, no lo hacemos. Okay. So please get ready. Okay. Simon says, right hand up. Okay. Simon says, left hand up. <laughs> look at Rafael Antonio. Uh huh. Okay. Wave your right hand. Hey, hey Simon says. Hey, Ricardo. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Simon didn't say. All right. Simon didn't say. Again, again. Vamos a hacer siempre las mismas acciones ahorita, just as a manner of practice. Okay. 
Simon says, raise your right hand up. Okay. Simon says, left hand up. Mm -hmm. Very good. Both hand up. No, guys, come on. Simon didn't oh. say. Ah, <laughs> twice, twice, Rafael, out. Yay! Ay, quité el... Deberíamos uh, de poner penitencia. <laughs> yes, we should, we should. Okay, el que vaya equivocándose That's dice evil. un phrasal verb, okay? Y nos dice qué significa. There you are. Ajá, así que no vamos a perder. Vamos a ver. A ver, pónganle coco. Phrasal verb with its meaning, all right? If you lose. Va. Vamos a empezar otra vez with right hand up, okay? So, Simon says right hand up. Simon says left hand up. Simon says both hands up. Simon says down your hands. All right, there you are. Wave your left hand. Aha, uh -huh, you don't want to say, oh, 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 yeah, I saw Rafael Antonio, Rafael Antonio. Aha, uh -huh. a ver, Rafael Antonio, penitencia, vamos a ver, the penalty, there you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Un phrasal verb y nos dice el significado, vamos a ver. Un verbo presente, ¿verdad? Sí, phrasal, phrasal verb. Tiene dos partes el phrasal verb. Dos palabras. I am dancing tonight. All right, that's in present tense and it is not a phrasal verb. A ver, démosle un ejemplo a Rafael. ¿Cuál es un phrasal verb? Give up. Go out. Give up. Mm -hmm. Go out, exactly. Get out is another one. Yes, okay. We Those are phrasal verbs. The verb with a preposition, okay? The verb with a preposition, okay, Rafael Antonio? Okay. Now. Dancing. I go to dancing. Uh, ese no es un... No, no, no. Ese no es un phrasal verb. Ese es un verbo normal, ¿verdad? Un verbo en eh, tiempo presente. Pero es un verbo que no tiene una preposición, ¿ok? No tiene una preposición para dar un significado, ¿ok? ¿Rafael? ¿Sí? Ok. Bye. Entonces, un phrasal verb puede ser wake up. Despiértate. Ese es wake up, ¿ok? Stand up es otro phrasal verb, ¿ok? Sit down as otro phrasal verb, all right? Pick up. Pick up is another phrasal verb. Excellent. Okay, guys, continue, continue. Sigue participando Rafael Antonio, okay? Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. Let's start over with the hands. Is it okay? Okay, then. Mm -hmm. Right hand up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rafael, a phrasal Rafael verb. And Rafael. Both yeah. Rafael. I see. Both Rafael. I was afraid. <laughs> no, don't worry. And I, I have reason. <laughs> you picture? were right. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, put down. And okay. the meaning is soltar. All right. Very mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Or the hat, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Good. A ver, Rafael Antonio, a phrasal verb. Uh, next. Uh, no importa, los que ya dijimos puede decir uno. I, I call the, the work. Ajá, uh -huh. wake up. Mm. What's the meaning of wake up? Uh, one hour. Okay, ¿qué significa wake up? 
Mm. I'm sleeping and then I wake up. Uh, I, okay. I wake I'm, up. I'm sleeping. Uh -huh. I'm sleeping and then I wake up. Este, después de dormir, me levanto, me despierto. Ah, despertarse, yes, despertarse. There you are. Okay, guys. Now, Simon says, Wave your left hand. Wave your left hand. So you have to move it, right? Like saying bye bye. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Simon says, Wave your right hand. Okay. Wave your both hands. <laughs> Okay, okay. All right. Remember, remember. All right. Let's do it again. We are going to do the same thing. All right. Please pay attention. Okay. Simon says, wave your right hand. Okay. Simon says, wave your left hand. Wave your both hands. <laughs> Hernan, Hernan, what's going on? Hey, come on, Hernan. <laughs> Simon didn't say. <laughs> no dijo Simon, okay? No dijo Simon. A ver, Hernan, un phrasal verb. De lo que acaba de mencionar es sit down, eh, stand up. Creo, sí, ¿eh? uh -huh. ¿Y Eso. qué significa? What is the meaning? Eh, uno es sentarse, el otro es pararse. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, now let's try a different move, okay? So we are gonna say, Simon says, wave both hands. Mm -hmm. Wave your arms. <laughs> Again, Rafael Antonio, hey, come on, pay attention. <laughs> Hey, Hernán, Hernán, come on. Simon didn't say. No dijo Simón, ¿ok? No dijo Simón. Vamos a ver, ¿ok? Vamos a regresar, ¿ok? Vamos a regresar. Remember, remember, ¿ok? Pay attention, ¿ok? Simon says, wave both hands. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Wave your both arms. No, Hernán, no, Hernán. Hey, come on. <laughs> but... Hernán, Simon didn't say. Uh -huh. Don't be Simon... in the trick. <laughs> yes, Simon didn't say. Tiene que poner atención. Si no, si no escucha, Simon says, no lo hace. Okay, vamos a ver. Simon says, snap your fingers, your fingers once. Simon says, snap your fingers twice. Right? Simon says, clap your hands once. Simon says, clap your hands twice. Okay? Open your microphones and Simon says, clap your hands repeatedly. Thank you, thank you, eh, thank you, thank you, dear public, eh, thank you, thank you, all my audience. <laughs> there you are, nice. Okay, then, yeah. So, vamos a, a ver. ¿Se divirtieron un su ratito? Yeah. Okay, then, the idea here is to follow the instructions. We can miss the point or we can make a mistake if we don't follow the instruction. What was the instruction? Only if Simon says you were going to do the, um, the activity, right? If Simon didn't say, well, then you don't, all right? You don't do what they are saying you to do. Okay, guys, so let's continue over here. Let's continue with this. We want to go and see about when and if, okay? How to use it in a conversation. How to use when and if in a conversation. So please, everybody, 
go to your manuals and go to page 45. Okay. The first question is, what happens if an employee in your company shows up late? What happens? What happens if a colleague of you um, arrives late to work, arrives late to work? What mm. happens? We get a, a warning. All right. Mm -hmm. You get a warning, all right? A warning. Very good. Okay. Mm. What do you do when you are sick and can't work? What do you do when you're sick and can't work? Mm -hmm. Sorry, teacher, I can hear you very well. Can't you? Can you repeat? Okay. What do you do when you are sick and can't work? I grab the permission to my supervisor for going to the hospital, for go to the hospital. For going. After preposition, we use ING for going to the hospital. Going to the hospital. Okay, good. And do you do it uh, personally or do you send an email, even if you are in your job? I send a WhatsApp. <laughs> All right, you send a WhatsApp. Uh, is your is your boss in the same office or you are in a different office? In the same office. Okay, but you send a WhatsApp. Yes. Okay. Because I I send a WhatsApp and then I go to the hospital. I don't go to my work. Oh, okay. Uh, that's before going your job. Maybe you woke up and then you fell, felt under the weather, so you call, okay, and or send the WhatsApp. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, what about um, Claudia? Claudia, what do you do when you are sick and can't work? I I might work in. Uh, I went. I go. Uh, I go. A pasar consulta. I go to the doctor. Uh -huh. I go to the doctor. Um, uh, solo esto. All right. So you go to the doctor and then you call your boss and tell him I'm. Um, with a physician here and I can't go to work, all right? You inform your supervisor, your manager, or the person in charge of granting the permission. All right, now what, okay. There are some uh, procedures that include text messages, emails, or you have to go personally to ask for the permission or to do the report, right? To file the form, et cetera. Maybe, maybe you have to present a certificate from your doctor, right? That you are sick and that you went from, the, uh, from this time to this time, exactly four hours, right? Four hours you stayed with this doctor and the date, right, the date, and it's printed there and signed, right, by the doctor uh, to, as a manner of backup or uh, to uh, uh, approve, approve that you went to see the doctor. Okay, there are other procedures that you just go, right, you just go, but I think you have uh, problems if you don't inform. Don't you? Mm -hmm. Can you get any trouble if you don't inform your supervisor or your manager 
why you can't you can't attend work? Can you get and my work? Mm -hmm. And supervisor? Mm -hmm. uh, and boss. All right. But do you get any any trouble if you don't inform? Guys? Mm -hmm. What is the consequence? What is the consequence? It's possible uh, the human resource uh, discount of the day. From your payment, yes. Uh -huh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That could be a consequence. And usually that is the consequence, right? They don't pay the day that you don't attend, that you don't show up your office. Okay, now let's read this conversation and check and notice, notice how they use when and if, okay? To express different situations and related to the topic, all right? So Brad and Annie are talking. Hi, Annie, how's it going? Hello, Brad, I am fine, and you? I'm okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss, call him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay. 30 seconds and read the conversation. Everyone please reading. Okay, is there any any word or any question about the vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Tell me. What means Brad? Brad is his name. Ah, ah yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> okay, there you are. Any other question? Hay una palabra que también se pronuncia parecida, ¿no? Brad. Uh, for those people who has got this kind of behavior, like Brad. <laughs> I don't know. <Yeah. laughs> yes, there are some, there are some, but it's not with the, the letter D, it's with the letter T, I think. Well, let me Brad. to confirm. Yes, with the letter es como... T. Chamaco? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and those, mm, I mean, who behave that way too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like immature, but angrily thing, right? Like kind of angrily or rebel. Well, that's a broad thing. Yeah. A broad people, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. A broad, that, that's a broad person also but brad yes is like adolescent mm, yeah is there any other question guys okay if you have no more questions then we want to practice the conversation let's listen to ellie nielsen and carlos ernesto are you available carlos ernesto i'm sorry Yes, teacher. Okay, Ellen Nielsen and Carlos Ernesto. Okay, please say your own names. Say your own names.
All right. Okay. Uh, hi, Carlos Ernesto. How is it going? Hello, Ellen Nilsson. I am fine, thank you. I'm okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, I if son doesn't come, my boss call him on her or her. And when the person returns, he or she recite a notification or warning. Why, Ellen Nilsson? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Carlos Ernesto. That's it, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Very good. So now, guys, we are going to the breakout rooms and we want to practice the conversation and also we want to do our comprehension thing here. Okay, this is our exercise. Yes, tell me. And could you roll the call? Yes. After. after okay, that. call the roll. All right, call yes. Yes, okay. sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. No okay, we have to unscramble the statements we have in this exercise. Okay, so you practice the conversation and then you... And a scram I'm sorry, unscramble the sentences. Okay, uh, please get ready. I'm going to call the roll. You saw yourselves there, right, in my file. Okay, you ready? No veo que enciendan sus cámaras. Necesito verlos, por favor. Recuerden que ya estamos al final. Hoy estamos más sujetos a auditorías. Okay, then, Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez, Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Present teacher. Okay. No está Carlos Alemán, ¿verdad? Okay. I don't know why, Miss. Ajá. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Ah, you said present, Claudia. Thank you. Present, present. Okay. Ellen Nilsson Aparicio del Cid. Present teacher. Okay. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cerveñón. Present teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Karen Chamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Ok, Juan Francisco. Wilber Alberto no está. Ok. José Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Pedro and Wilmer eh, present in chat. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Wilber too. Oh, yes, there he is. Thank you, Wilbur, I'm sorry. All right, there you are. Teacher, okay. you jump my turn. I'm sorry, Tony? Yeah, you jump my turn and uh, listen. Did I? Oh, just give me one sec. Oh, yes, I did, I'm sorry. Ricardo Tony uh, Mendoza Castro. Okay, 
There we are. Thank you. Okay. Simon didn't say that is why. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ricardo. <laughs> okay. Here we go, guys. We're going to the breakout rooms. Remember, practice the conversation and then uh, unscramble the sentences. Vayan fijándose a la hora que practican la conversación de cómo se usa el if y cómo se usa el when. Okay. Please join your rooms. Tiene ahí. Oh, no, no, no. No, no la tengo. Ni en el grupo no ha estado. Eh, creo que no. No. A ver si le puede sacar un screenshot. Ahorita, teacher, ahorita. Pero... Ahorita lo muevo. Esas son las preguntas. You have to scramble. Okay. Ya estuvo, ya. Ok, now this is the conversation. Hoy sí, ya. Ok. Sí. Are you ok with that, Ellen Nilsson, too? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you, okay. Yes, thank you. All right. Va a mandar al grupo. Okay. Eh, empezamos leyendo o, o descifrando las oraciones. Ahí vea. Las oraciones. Quiero ver. Primero las oraciones. Vaya. Vale, la primera es, la vamos a ordenar, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo está? Sí, así es. Ajá. La escribe en el cuaderno. Hola. La escribe en el cuaderno. Vale. Pero. Hello, teacher. Hello, Hernán. Me quedé solito, no sé si ya. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, just give me one second then. Okay, I want to que... confirm. Ya llegó el otro compañero. Teacher, yo estaba sí. en la sala cuatro, pero cuando intenté ingresar me sacó. Okay. Ok, pero estamos, estamos bien ahorita. Yes, I think you may go now, ok. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Thank <laughs> you. 
Vamos otra vez o Demos otra contestar. vuelta, demos la otra vuelta. Ok. Quiero ver. Voy a primero. Hi, Annie. Who is this going? Hello, bro, I'm fine, and you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you. What does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calling him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receive a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will to do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay. La parte de abajo hay que ordenar las palabras. Yeah. So. When are No tienes una oración, no tienes una de pregunta. No sé si puedo. Hello, Carlos Roberto. Welcome. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. Uh, I got uh, fall asleep. I'm sorry. All right, all right. Uh, now we are in the breakout room, so I will assign you to room six. All right. Okay, teacher. Yes. Okay, we are practicing the conversation on page 45. Okay. Okay, teacher. And also, you have to unscramble the sentences. So please do it. Oh, Yes. I'm sorry, Okay. I sent you to the wrong room. Oh, no, no, room six, room six. There you Okay. are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Sal. Was ¿Quién nos va a sacar? Your bus. No. Aquí teníamos a alguien más. ¿Quién Ah, Juan Francisco, pero es que ya está. Creo que está de oyente. Sí, oyente. Aquí está, I am okay, dice. That say, look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a world doesn't come to work? Your boss. La número dos, ¿verdad? Sí. If it is a question. Uh -huh. eh, sí, la dos, teacher. Okay, if it is a question, remember, it has to start uh, with a WH word or, Es correcto. or an auxiliary, right? In this case, is there a WH word in the words you have? Yes. En, en, las tres, en las tres, sería así, Number two, number two, you said number two. Ah, number two, eh, hey, yes. All right. Ah, Your okay. boss. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo empezaría? How does it start if it is a question? Mm. 
¿Cuál es la, pre, la palabra de pre, Yes. What? Ah, es que es pregunta. Uh -huh. ah, what? What? Uh -huh. Es que es uh, question. Yes, it's a question. So question. you start with what and then the auxiliary verb, right? <clears throat> yes. Okay. What does? Mm -hmm. And what's the subject? Mm -hmm. Your boss. All right. Mm -hmm. What does your boss? Your boss. Mm -hmm. What's what the main does? verb? Mm -hmm. No, the main yes. verb. A worker. Work. 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 Uh, no, no. The main verb. What does your boss... What does then... your boss... Worker. No, ¿cuál es to el go. verbo? Go. Mm. To go. No, porque go es ir, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero estamos hablando de el jefe. Do. ¿sí? Uh -huh. Ah, yes. do. Uh -huh. like, Exactly. Uh -huh. What does your boss? Your boss... <laughs> uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> okay. What does your boss do? Y luego? Mm. Do, do go. What does your boss do? Mm -hmm. Do, do, do. Do, uh -huh. do, a walk, do walker? No. Vale. Vamos a ver That's cómo está hecha la. Ajá. Vamos a ver cómo está hecha la pregunta en la en la conversación. Let's go to the conversation. Ah, okay, yes. uh -huh. uh -huh. um, uh -huh. What does What does your boss do when a uh -huh. worker doesn't come to work? Okay. Entonces hay algo que le falta ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, sí. Ok, ¿cuál palabra le falta para que tenga sentido? Go. Mm -mm. La palabra que estamos estudiando. When. 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 Ajá, entonces sería, what does your boss do when? Ajá, cuando. Ajá, que la hacía, ajá. Ajá, ¿cuándo qué? Cuando, when. Uh -huh. A worker doesn't. Uh -huh. Pero aquí está un go también. Yes, doesn't go. Doesn't go uh -huh. to a worker. To work, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A ver, ¿ya le hallaron hoy sí? Sí, de hecho. Vale, vamos a ver, Rosa, dígame cómo era la pregunta. La pregunta es. Permítame, es que no la he contestado. Uh -huh. No lo he escrito. Ok. When, when uh -huh. doesn't go, Eva. Ajá. Uh -huh. Doesn't go to work. Correct. Pero aquí hay un a worker, dicha. Por eso, when a worker. Ah. Dicha uh es, -huh. what doesn't you, your boss do when you go to a worker? Y no, vamos a ver si les hace más sentido si la miran. Miren el chat. Ah, oh, pues, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't work? Ah, ok. Ajá, now you Exacto. got it. Sí. Yes. Uh -huh. Vale, entonces le faltaba la palabra when, por eso no le hallaban sentido, ¿verdad? Yes. Por eso había Correcto. que ir a ver en la conversación. ¿Ya? Ah, ok, sí, sí tiene... Sí, okay. es cierto, que no le no llamamos sentido por le faltaba. Ah, exactly, exactly. Okay, now, uh, for doing number, number three, then you go to the conversation and check, all right? Uh -huh, es correcto. Thank Good. you, teacher. Good.
If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay. Hello, teacher. I have a question. La teacher está como nosotros cuando nos pasa asistencia y no estamos. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> es que se me activó y me decía, me hizo un pop-up message y no le podía okay. dar al micrófono. Okay, ajá. Tell me, okay. what's your question? I have a question. Uh, wait a second. Este... Ah, you, is, you were asking for Brad too, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in the second, yeah. in the second yeah. question, uh, we use a when. Excellent. Very uh -huh. good. Yeah. That word was missing. Yes. Ah, uh, exactly. Yes. I, I'm going to ask that. Yes. It was yeah. missing, but it's okay that you went to check this up in the conversation. Uh -huh. I remember in the platform, we have this problem very often. Oh, right. and, and, and I think it's the same situation. <laughs> yeah, the slides guide. <laughs> Guy. <laughs> okay. okay, but thank you very much. Yes, you did a good job there. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. All right. So you finished, right? So let's go yeah. back to the main room. Okay, let's move okay. back. Okay, okay teacher. Okay, now, please, everyone, everyone go to the chat, okay, and write the correct sentence in order, okay, on the chat. Sentence number one, everybody typing it in. The first sentence.
Okay. Yes. We are talking about a she employee, right? A she employee. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Vaya, he escuchado cuando los he oído en las conversaciones uh, que esta palabra me la pronuncian diferente de cómo es. A ver, todos díganme esa palabra después de she. A ver, todos. Esta. Receive. All right. Ajá. Re. All right. Receive. 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 Es que escucho que a veces me dicen receives. Uh -huh. Yes, receives. Ok. Si es en primera persona y en plurales es receive. Ok. Tercera persona, with the letter S, receives. Okay. Vamos a ver, when the employee arrives, she receives a notification. Okay. What about number two? Hey, solo veo que Karen me la escribió en el chat. Ah, y Eric. ¿Qué pasó con los demás? A ver, todos escribiéndome esa oración ahí en el, en el chat. Everybody. Please type in the sentence. I like your cup, teacher. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was a gift. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Thank you. Well, at the beginning, what I didn't like, it was, I don't know if you can see just this thing. Yeah. Do you see this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't like that uh, very much, but now I enjoy it. Now I enjoy it. Yeah. And that's cute. Uh-huh. Teacher. Uh-huh. Where do buy where do you buy this cup? Well, it was a gift. Someone gave uh, it to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Someone gave it to me. At the beginning I didn't like it because of the We need inside. someone. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. There you are. She receives a notification when the employee arrives. Okay, that's another way to see this, okay? That's another way to see this, but the notification is not for she, it's for the employee, right? Okay, this she or he is the employee, okay? That sounds good too because of the order of the clauses, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. When the employee arrives, a ver, Rafael Antonio me quedo a la mitad. Vamos a ver, Hernán, she receives a notification or warning when the employee arrives, okay? She or he, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because in the conversation it says she or he, right? Mm -hmm. But in the sentence, it's only she. Okay, guys, now let's type in number two, okay? Number two, it's a question. Everybody, please write the question. Mm -hmm. Very good, Rosa. What does your boss do when a worker doesn't go to work? Okay. Everybody, please. Excellent, Rafael Alexander. What does your boss do when a worker doesn't go to work? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Andrea. Please say that question, number two. Um, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't go to work? Excellent. Carlos Roberto, please say the same question. Uh, what does your boss do when a uh, a worker doesn't go to work. Okay. Uh, Claudia Yamilet, please say that question. 
Uh, number two, uh, what does your boss do when a worker does go to work? All right, excellent. Ellen Nilsson, please say that question too. The same, the same question, right? Yes, please, the same question. Okay, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't to, doesn't to work? Doesn't, doesn't go to work. Okay, thank you very much. Good pronunciation, good intonation. Look, he says, what does your boss do? Okay, he makes the emphasis on do, okay? That's the stress in this expression. When a worker does not go to work, okay? Excellent. Okay. Bien. Cuando nosotros estamos ordenando una oración, estamos enseñándole a nuestro cerebro a poder construir la idea. ¿Qué es lo que hacemos? ¿Qué es lo que la teacher siempre les dice cuando mmm, se queden en blanco? ¿Qué es lo primero que hay que hacer? Ordenar la idea. Go to basics. ¿Ok? Entonces, recordar la estructura de una pregunta. ¿Cuál es la estructura de una pregunta? ¿Con qué palabra comienza una pregunta? Ajá. Un WH word. WH word or auxiliar. auxiliary. Auxiliary verb, the helping verb, right? Siempre. Si es una oración afirmativa, ¿con qué va a comenzar? Auxiliary? Subject with a subject. subject. With oh, a yeah. subject, yes. If it is a negative too, ok? También si es una negativa. Ahora, si es una orden que usted va a dar, ¿con qué va a comenzar? With? Or Ajá. When? We use imperatives when, when we want to give an order. Ajá. Pero ¿cómo comienza una oración imperativa? Si es afirmativa, comienza con un. Y si es negativa, comienza con. Hey, guys, come on. A ver. Las negative or... with don't. Yes, negative with don't. Ajá. And cuando usted le va a dar la orden a alguien. With a subject. Without. Without, without. the subject. Yes. Uh, it's me... tacit. It's tacit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Es un, uh, no sé si se dice tacit. Ahorita me, que, me entró la duda otra vez. Uh, es tacito. Okay. El verbo en una oración imperativa. ¿Cuál es el verbo en general, eh, perdón, el sujeto en general de una oración imperativa? You. Yes, you. Mm -hmm. But we don't say it. No lo decimos. We just use the verb, right? And a complement, because you want to explain where this or how this action is going to happen, right? Or needs to be done. All right. So now let's look at these questions, all right? Look at these questions. La primera pregunta que hacíamos era, cuando ordenamos una oración... Tenemos que irnos a lo básico. ¿Qué es lo básico? La estructura. Todo mentalmente, ¿verdad? Ok. Si es una oración imperativa negativa, la vamos a en empezar con don't. ¿Qué es una oración imperativa que empieza con don't? What is that? Uh -huh. Cuando usted quiere que a alguien. Uh -huh. Darle una orden. Yes. Uh -huh. Ahí en el chat. Check. Uh -huh. Restrictions. Yes. Conditions. Yes. Correct. We don't want this person to do something or anything, right? So in that case, can you give me an example of those Sentences, imperative sentences 
but negative. Don't do it. Mm-hmm. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, don't do it. Very good. Mm -hmm. What else? The verb. Can you repeat, please? Mm, the verb. Infinitive verb. Okay, what verb? For, for example, don't smoke. Excellent. Uh -huh. Okay. Ay, se me pasó la o. Uh -huh. Don't make jokes. Don't smoke. Uh -huh. Don't do it. Don't run. Don't run. Run. Uh -huh. Okay, so those are prohibitions or restrictions, okay? So those are the don'ts. Pero también podemos ser amables cuando damos una orden, ¿verdad? Para no parecer así bien bossy, Ajá, bien mandones, ¿verdad? ¿Qué palabra usamos? What word do we use? Sure. Who? I'm sorry? Who? Sure? No. Should and could, ok, pero estamos en las imperativas, con should okay. no es un imperativo, con could okay. no es un imperativo. Ajá. Okay. Entonces, para hacerlo un poquito más suave cuando damos la... Okay. Nope. No. Ajá. What's the word? The magic word. Cool. No, the magic word, guys, to be polite. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, they are? Uh, no. They are? No. No. Look at the there chat. Is. Please? Yes, that's the magic word. Yeah, please. <laughs> Para ser más amables, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh <-huh>. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Vaya, ya ven que necesitamos hacer el vocabulary practice. Okay. Please don't smoke. Mm. Usually we say, don't smoke. But if we want to be polite, please don't smoke here. Okay? So, yeah. Can we use please at the beginning of an imperative sentence? Sentence. Can we say, please don't smoke? Or do we have to say, don't smoke, please? ¿Cuál es lo correcto? A ver. At the beginning or at the end? ¿Cuál es lo correcto? Please, at the beginning or at the end? Mm -hmm. At the end. At the end. It doesn't matter, guys. It doesn't matter. You can use it at the beginning and you can use it at the end, all right? Ajá. Eso es, ya ven que necesitamos platicar acerca de el vocabulario. Okay, bien, vamos a hacer una una pequeña, eh, podemos decir, un check-up, ¿ok? Un check-up. De algunas cosas de la primera unidad podemos decir donde vimos los imperatives. Remember, with the process uh, or with the steps to do something. Ok, so please, everybody, uh, you have to go to the Google search and write joinmyquiz.com. Hmm? I will give you the code. The code is one seven six. Zero seven eight. Wait a second, teacher. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. Bye. To do this, can you this repeat the code? One seven six zero seven eight. One 
Okay. I'm okay. so sorry. No problem. No problem. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. okay. To make I mean, these easier, here it is the link. All right. Hi, hi, hi. Primero les dije que hicieran todo para following instructions. All right. Go to the Google search. Write joinmyquiz.com. Then the code you are going to use is, and then you follow. The process, all right? Pero para hacerlo más fácil, aquí les mandé el link, okay? To do this easier. You click on the link. Are you there yet? Let me check. I have zero participants yet. There you are, Kai. Four participants. Have five participants. A ver, cuéntenme quién no ha podido ingresar. ¿Alguien tiene problemas para ingresar? Me avisa, porfa. Could you repeat the, the code, please? One, seven, six. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Bueno, ya no me lo pidió. Okay. okay. I'm ready to check. Okay. Let me check. Mm -hmm. I have Carlos, Rosa. Okay, then we're going to start this. Okay. Bien. Hello, Andrea. Yes, good. You're in. I need to share this. Maybe we can share this. Everybody there yet? I see eight. I see eight of you. Okay. Alguien más? Yes, Rafael. Good. Mm -hmm. So let's start. Aquí en estas preguntas vamos a encontrar algunas que hay más de una respuesta correcta y si no las marcamos todas, nos la marca mala, ¿ok? Eh, sí, sí. ¿Sí? No, yo no sé si he entrado. Yo lo hice módulo, fly check out. Yes, ahí estamos. Está bien ahí. Ahí ya, ya lo veo. Uh -huh. Wow, well, ok. Sí. Como dicen un y se ni me pregunte porque yo <laughs> traducía <laughs> la tabla, pero a saber cómo me metí. Ah, oh, but you did good. You're in already. Okay. Teacher, a mí uh -huh. solo me sale el nombre de los participantes y abajo me dice confirmar tema. Uh, um, es siempre... que creo que hay que esperar cuando ella empiece, nos va a, a dejar participar a todos, creo yo. Eh, sí, pero no lo tengo adentro a él. Vamos a ver, no está. It's not in yet. A ver, tengo a Roberto, Karen. No, 
No lo tengo todavía. ¿Alguien lo mira a él en el listado? No, ¿verdad? Oh, uh, ok, uh, ¿le pidió su nombre? Sí. Ok, uh, dele confirmar. Al darle confirmar, si no me sale abajo, onda cinética, dos files, mucho. Yo ah, aquí veo a Tony. Pero veo a todos los compañeros. Ahí Tony Mendoza. Sí. Uh -huh. Yo sí también lo veo acá en el listado. Quiero ver, no lo veo yo. Sí, igual yo, yo. Veo, yo veo 16 personas. Ok, yo veo ahorita ocho. Ay, ustedes se me esconden. Vamos a ver, otra vez, otra vez, ahí ya me sí. tienen que salir. 16 me sale en la luz. Ok, ya ahorita me va a salir. ¿No? Es que Rafael está dos veces. Rafael Barrera. Oh. Uh, we okay. have two Rafaels Barrera in the class. That is why, Blanca. Es cierto, uno tiene un asterisco y el otro no. Oh, oh, ok, ok. Ahorita me va a salir acá. Es que por eso él decía que tuvo problema cuando... No, no tuvo problema, sino que anduvo dándole por aquí, por allá y logró entrar. He doesn't know how... Oh, you see, conexión perdida. Here we go. Ok, yes, now I have 16. Excuse me? Yes, ya aparece ahí él. Ya hoy sí, también Hernán, ya me aparece acá, también Roberto. Ok, then, we are going to start y vamos a ir al, al ritmo en que todos hayamos contestado, ¿ok? Así que pongámosle coco y vamos. Y luego le doy select a las opciones correctas. Sí, no, no me deja a mí presentarles el... Permiten. Ya casi se acaba el tiempo. Okay, time is over. Time is over. Mm -hmm. What happened? Hey, come so on. Watch your, <laughs> watch your mouth, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I, I think uh, I was muted, muted, but I'm not. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, guys, Um, a ver. Ahí tenían que marcar más de una respuesta, ¿ok? Solo que a mí me sacó, me sacó. A mí solo me apareció la primera pregunta. Sí. Y se me friqueó. Es eh, que la teacher tenía que irlas pasando, creo yo. Sí, era, yo las... Era y ella dirigía. Exacto. Oh, ok. Pero el problema es que me sacó. Entonces, ahorita que estoy ingresando, ¿ok? No me da todas las, los datos. Ok, dice 13 de 16 contestaron la pregunta. Vamos a ver. It says words to mark steps in a process. Ok, words to mark steps in a process. No me da el, el, el pase. No me da el pase. I'm sorry, guys. Ok, next question. Ah, bueno, primero veamos las respuestas, ok? Let's look at the answers. It says, ajá, solo 12 de ustedes marcaron next. Solo 13 de ustedes marcaron first. Eh, 12 de ustedes marcaron finally. 
Y 11 marcaron then. Y dos marcaron never. Never no es una palabra que marque un paso, ¿verdad? Ok. Así que seguimos. Seguimos. Vamos. Siguiente pregunta. Next question. Tal vez hoy sí no me deja fuera. Vamos a ver. Más de una respuesta es correcta. Today not is my day. Time's up. What happened, guys? Mm -hmm. I forgot it. Okay, Roberto is the first one in this one. He did everything correct, I think. At least he marked two mm -hmm. in less time. Vamos a ver. What you need is to have a great product. That's an example of noun clauses. What mm -hmm. clauses? What clauses? Mm -hmm. Very I good. Ones. Yes. And we said that sometimes it's called noun clauses, okay? Yeah. And time clauses, no, why? Because here it doesn't say where, okay? It says what. Conjunction clauses, no, because it doesn't say if, it doesn't say where, okay? So let's continue, guys. Let's continue. Next question. Okay, time's up. Vamos a ver entonces. My best friend just opened his own shop. Vamos a ver quién. Henry Perez got the first place. Yes. En esta pregunta, ¿verdad? In this question. Okay, él lo hizo más rápido que todos. Vamos a ver. What my friend did. Okay, yes. What my friend did es lo que queda bien acá, ¿verdad? Para completar la idea. No queda bien si le ponemos what I'm saying is. No queda bien sin el what, ¿verdad? Porque necesitamos decir lo que, ¿ok? When my friend was open, cuando él se abrió, mm -mm, no, ¿verdad? No entra. Bien, next question, guys. Next question. Time's up. Okay, so complete. Vamos a ver quién fue el más rápido acá. Henry again. Good. Mm -hmm. Now, let's look at the graph. 
Uh, it says, what I would do. That's the correct question. What I would do. Okay, I don't know where she has to start. What I would do is promote the products online. Okay, yo no sé lo que ella va a hacer, ¿verdad? Para empezar, pero lo que yo voy a hacer o lo que yo hiciera es tal cosa. Okay, so yes, next question. Okay, time's up, guys. Use imperatives too. A ver, se va con Henry again. Ah, it says Roberto. Roberto was. Roberto was the first one in this one, all right? Vamos a ver. Use imperatives too. Mm -hmm. Help me here to read. Give an order. Make invitation, give instruction. All right. We don't use imperatives for finished actions in the past, right? No, that's simple past. That's simple past. Doesn't have, ha, I mean, it doesn't have to see anything about the imperatives, okay? All right. Next question. Right, time's up. A ver. Roberto in the first place. Is one. Uh -huh. A ver, a ver. Veamos y discutamos un poquito. These are examples of imperatives. These are examples of imperatives. Which ones? Please call me. Okay. Mm -hmm. The mom plug or disconnect. Okay. What about mash mash? the shadows? Is it's an imperative? Are they? Mash. Yes. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mash. Mm -hmm. Mash the sweet potatoes. I forgot that sentence. All right. Uh, it's the verb that uh, was. Uh, it is not so common for us. Uh, yeah, no. Let's look at the fourth answer. It says. Could you please call me? Is that an imperative? Is that an imperative sentence? Yeah. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Okay. Yeah. This oh. is requesting politely. This is requesting politely. All right. No, I, I listen. I listen to you. Please call me. Oh, please call me. Yes. Yes. It is an imperative. There you are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, and the last question.
And yes, time stop. All right, let's look at who was the fastest. All right. Roberto, very good. All right, now let's see what is the correct answer. Shouldn't. 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 All right. Why not should? Because this is something that they don't have to do, right? They don't have to forget about quality. Okay, then. Guys, you did a really good job here. Remember, imperatives could be affirmative, could be negative, okay? They don't have a subject. Okay. We use imperatives to give orders. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, make intentions. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, making intrusion, intrusions. Giving instructions. Giving yes. instructions. Giving instructions. Very good. Very good. Okay. Is there any question so far? Not teacher. No questions? That's okay. Okay, very good. Very good. It's 10 o'clock already. And I hope mm -hmm. I hope everything is covered. Yeah. Remember, we have the reading practice. Oh, all right, guys. Please get ready and turn your cameras on. Vale, voy a ir rapidito diciendo, eh, pasando lista. Pongámonos listos, porfa. Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Present Blanca teacher. Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Teacher. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Elenilson Aparicio del CID. Present teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos, Heisel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón, Henry Present Alberto Pérez Rosales, Present Hernán Antonio Chacón López, Present Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas, Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala, Matiel Saúl García Morales, Present Rafael Present Alexander Serna Díaz, Present Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Okay. Well, guys, uh, tomorrow we have our. I didn't forget me my number. No, me no tampoco. I'm sorry. No escuché mi nombre. No lo mencionó. Me quedé en dónde? En Rafael. Estamos varios. De verdad. Oh my God! I'm sorry. Okay, okay. A ver, uh, tengo Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz, Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz, Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro, presente. Okay. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar, present. Okay. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. 
José Abel Izaguirre Mendoza. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Este, tengo a José Abel, no se conectó el día de hoy. No lo veo acá en mi reporte. Okay. Well, guys, remember you have to finish all the work on, on the platform, okay? It, the final exam has two parts, so please complete, uh, complete everything. Make sure you get your 100, all right? Make sure you get your 100. Um, about this, the attendance scores, attendance scores, uh, yeah. Este ya va a manera de conciencia, ¿verdad? Ya más o menos ustedes saben lo que han faltado y lo que han asistido, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, hemos tenido un, un curso bastante accidentado con lo de la tormenta Julia, ¿verdad? Estuvimos entrando y saliendo con las actualizaciones de Zoom, pero aún así, pues, hay bastantes que han alcanzado un muy buen porcentaje. Por ejemplo, tenemos el Nilsson que tiene el 90% de asistencia. Es un excelente, ¿verdad? Eh, porcentaje. Magdiel es un excelente porcentaje con un 90%. Hernán también con un 90%. Henry, a pesar de todo lo que le ha pasado al pobre, ha estado el 90%, ¿verdad? Felicitaciones. ¿Verdad? Ahorita, por lo menos hasta ese, todavía nos falta el día de mañana, ¿verdad? Les va a contar un poquito más. Así que vamos muy bien con los que acabo de mencionar. ¿Ok? Eh, con los demás estamos en un porcentaje aceptable, ¿verdad? Pero no deben de faltar el día de mañana. Si ustedes faltan el día de mañana, probablemente pierden su oportunidad de subir, ¿verdad? Eh, no tengo un porcentaje menor a 80 quiero ver ok voy a chequear correctamente y si hay algún porcentaje que alguien quiera consultar por favor me puede enviar un mensaje privado ¿verdad? para que veamos eso y acuérdense que es necesario eh, la asistencia. Es importantísima para Insafor. Es parte del de requerimiento para, la, eh, para pasar el curso. Y la última cosa. Mañana haríamos la encuesta de satisfacción. Por lo tanto, nadie debe de faltar. ¿Verdad? Mañana enviamos todas las pruebas de que se realizó juntas. Así que, por favor, estemos pendientes de que no deben faltar desde las ocho en punto o de diez para las ocho ya debemos estar listos para las ocho, perdón, para las diez y cuarto, ¿verdad? Nada, son bromas. De ocho a diez en punto, ¿ok? Bien, okay. entonces eh, si alguien quiere quedarse todavía los diez minutos, con gusto eh, yo ok, Carlos Ernesto, thank you very much, then everybody have a very good night good night, And teacher see you tomorrow Vengan peinaditos mañana, ¿ok? Bye bye. Ok, teacher. I take a shower. All right. Bye, see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye, Juan. Hello, Carlos Ernesto. How can I assist you today? Tell me. Thank you, teacher. Este, bueno, lo primero es quiero saber mi porcentaje de asistencia. Quiero saber, yo tengo mis dudas si no llevo al 80. Ok, vamos a ver, Carlos Ernesto. Eh, sí, le hace falta el día de mañana para poder pasar. Exacto, ya tenemos un 79%, ¿verdad? Tenemos exacto, justito para pasar. Ok, porque mañana usted va a estar acá. ¿Verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. okay. Ajá. Sí. Este, 
sí, 79, eh, un poquito más, ya casi llegando al 80, porque está 79, 63, ¿ok? Ok, pero ese es acumulado hasta Acumulado, este tipo. sí, acumulado hasta hoy. Uh -huh. Ok, bueno. Ya sí, mañana ya tiene que, que contar, ¿verdad? Mañana cuenta. Y subiría ese porcentaje. Sí, le sube los otros 120 minutos que faltan, ¿verdad? Ah, uh -huh. ok. Exacto. Uh -huh. Sí, bueno, así eh, es. Yo tengo eh, una duda con, con el examen final. Uh -huh. eh, le voy a mostrar. Uh -huh. en, en, en esta parte, uh -huh. eh, esto no, no logro entender qué es lo que hay que hacer. Esta es la, la primera parte del examen uh -huh. y, y como no hay instrucciones, pues no, no logro comprender. Ok, en esa parte tiene que ordenar la oración, pero en tiempo presente perfecto. En el presente perfecto, acordémonos del de verbo have, con el pasado participio del verbo. Pasado participio. Ajá, ajá. El presente Entonces, perfecto es eh, para una acción que no se ha terminado en el pasado y que continúa hasta el presente. Esa es la teoría, ¿verdad? Ahora, ya en la, en la práctica, es, por ejemplo, ahí usted tiene que poner en, como es negativa, ¿verdad? Eh, has not, puede ser hasn't también, ¿verdad? Pero está bien, has not. Unplugged. Unplugged. Uh -huh. Unplugged. ¿Acuérdense el pasado participio de unplugged? Um, bueno, no, no lo tengo acá. Uh -huh. Letter G, E, D, unplugged. ¿Mm? Tiene que agregarle, creo, una letra G, si no, no le va a agarrar. Ya. Yeah. Ah, ok. Capital letter at the beginning and the period at the end, remember. Ya, ya lo tengo. Ah, okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. the beginning, did you uh, capitalized? Yes. All right. There you are. Okay. And the next teacher and the uh -huh. secretary. Entonces sería. Uh -huh. Yes, has. No, and the past no. participle. May. Correct. No. Me da error todavía. Es que hay una letra B antes de la G de unplugged. Ah. Uh -huh. Voy a probar este. Ah, ok. Ok. Que hay doble espacio, tal vez sea eso. Yeah, I think so. Good. Excelente. Yay! We did it, Carlos. Yes. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Ok. Is there any other question? Eh, sí, pero creo que no va a tomar más de 10 minutos. ¿sí? Ok. Uh, allow me, I mean, tell me and I'll tell you. <laughs> ok, yo todavía no he logrado comprender la diferencia en qué caso usar if y when. Ok, good, good question. Okay, uh, do you mind stop sharing? Okay. Thank you. Now, um, I'll show you here with the examples I gave you, all right? With, with those examples, I think it's easier to, 
to get the idea. Remember that this is about meaning. Esto es, es por el significado de las, la idea completa, ¿verdad? En este caso estamos hablando de dos cláusulas que se unen con cualquiera de esas dos palabras para dar una, un significado completo, ¿verdad? Entonces, hay una cláusula que es dependiente y la otra que es independiente. Entonces, ahí vamos a ver acá. Uh, here it is. Okay. Vaya, en el primer ejemplo, en the first example, en la primera cajita verde que tenemos aquí, okay, tenemos, you can drive if you're 17. Okay. Este if, lo usamos en casos que es menos probable okay, que lo que vamos a decir suceda. Okay? Es menos probable. O es una situación inusual. Okay? It's an unusual situation. Um, for example, number two, if you see, you can drive when you're 17, okay? It's a different context. Es, da un contexto diferente. ¿Por qué? Porque when lo utilizamos para ubicar como al momento en que eso pueda suceder. ¿Ok? Y es seguro que va a suceder. Porque es seguro que todos, tenemos, eh, si estamos vivos, llegamos a los 10, pasamos por los 17 años, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es seguro. When you're 17, you can drive. Ok, ese quién es de posibilidad, ok, no es de, de habilidad, porque de habilidad puede aprender a cualquier edad, ¿verdad? Vale, entonces, veamos que hay dos oraciones acá. Tenemos la primera que es you can drive y tenemos la siguiente que es your 17. Usamos when, cuando es seguro que esa situación va a pasar, pero llega un momento en el que va a suceder, ¿ok? Como por decir, at the moment, right? Or until you are 17, ¿ok? Ahora, en esta primera es, yo no sé qué edad tiene usted, ¿ok? Yo no sé qué edad tiene usted. Probablemente yo lo veo bien cipote y entonces digo, mm, usted me dice que quiere manejar, ¿verdad? Entonces yo le digo, well, you can drive if you're 17, ¿ok? You can drive if you're 17. Me pide usted manejar, pero yo le digo, well, you can drive if you're 17. No tengo la seguridad de que tenga los 17 años, ¿ok? Es menos probable, ¿ok? Es menos probable. A ver, vamos a ver en el caso siguiente. El caso siguiente dice, The permission is granted when you present the form signed by the manager to the HR assistant. Ajá. ¿Cuándo es concedido el permiso? ¿En qué momento es concedido el permiso? Cuando él presenta el formulario firmado. Exacto. En el momento que usted presenta el formulario con la firma correspondiente, ¿verdad? Y en el lugar correspondiente, ¿ok? Entonces, cuando usted hace eso, su permiso es seguro que se lo concedieron, ¿ya? Ahora, vamos a ver aquí. The permission is granted if you present the form signed by the manager to the HR assistant. ¿Por qué if? Probablemente no lo ha presentado y su jefe le está diciendo, bueno, le concedemos el permiso si usted presenta eso. ¿Ya? It's different the context. Es una situación eh, inusual o menos probable ha sucedido o va a suceder. ¿Verdad? Menos probable que suceda esa situación. ¿Verdad? O sea, que puede okay. ser que no lo ha presentado, ¿verdad? Si uh -huh. yo le digo if, ¿ya? Yeah. 
Pero si llego y le digo, mire jefe, y me dieron el permiso. Bueno, es que el permiso es garantizado y concedido cuando usted presenta su, su formulario. Ok, it's, uh, it's more probable. I mean, it's for sure. Ok, it's for sure. Now, let's look at number, I mean, the third box. It says, one, you should be concise. You should be concise. That's the first sentence o la primera cláusula. Pero me di, la tengo que unir con la siguiente, ¿verdad? A ver, voy a unirla con when. ¿Por qué when? ¿Qué significado va a tener la siguiente? When you send a text message to the colleagues from customer service. Ok, yo uso when because it's for sure that I get in contact with the customer service representative. Maybe I have to do that. Maybe it's part of my obligations to get in contact with them or to, or to inform or they are part of the process that I follow, right? with my client. So then it's for sure that I get in contact with them. Okay, it's part of my job. Veamos la número dos. You should be concise if, if you send a text message to the co colleagues from customer service. It's not part of my job to get in contact with customer service, right? It's not usual, yeah? It's unusual that I get in contact with them. Maybe, maybe in some situation, I will need to get in contact with them, right? So in that case, just in case you get in contact with the customer service colleagues, then you should uh, be concise, okay? You should be concise, okay? Do you notice the difference now? Yes. Uh, uh, yes, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, sí, me queda más claro, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Este, el uso de if y when. Okay. Voy a seguir leyendo el, el, el libro para, uh -huh. para entender más con los ejemplos que ahí aparecen. Ajá, pong pongamos el libro para que de una sola vez usted mire. Ah. Mire, por acá lo tenemos. It's on page 42, I think, right? Page 42, if I'm not wrong. I'm sorry, it's 46, 46. 46. Sí, todavía eso lo vamos a hacer mañana, ¿ok? Pero podemos verlo ahorita acá, lo que leímos en la clase, el día que lo vimos. Page 46. Ahí está la teoría, mire. Aquí está la teoría. It says... Um, the usage of if and when. Okay, to join classes, to join classes. It means there is one class that is uh, independent and the class that is dependent, all right? So it says how to use if and when to join classes. Vamos a leer por acá. A ver. Léalo para que. When and I have similar meaning. We use when for usual situation and if for in usual situation. But clouds. But, but clouds have to be in simple present. Use a comma when, if, or when come at the beginning. Okay. So here we have the examples. We can have these uh, words to join the clauses in a question or in an affirmative sentence or a negative too, okay? So you can find it where we have to, two clauses, okay? When, where we have two clauses. It doesn't matter if it is a question, if it is an affirmative or if it is negative sentences or statements. So let's look at this, the first example. What do you do when you forget your tools for work? Okay. La primera cláusula, what do you do? Okay. Y luego la siguiente cláusula también tiene sujeto, verbo y complemento. Mire, 
Mm -hmm. When you forget your tools for work. Esta es una cláusula, esta es otra cláusula. Este es la, el momento por decir la consecuencia o... Sí, eh, con los condicionales, ¿verdad? Cuando hemos visto los condicionales, vemos que el que lleva buen es el, la causa, perdón, el, la consecuencia, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, vamos a eh, usar when to join both clauses. Okay, to join both clauses para darle el significado correcto. Vamos a ver entonces, what do you do when you forget your tools for work? Pero, ¿qué tal si le ponemos if? ¿Qué sentido nos daría? Eh, bueno, este un poco, digamos, como menos indefinido en qué momento se daría, ¿verdad? Porque... Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Very good. Ok, veamos acá. I ask for a backup set when I forget my tools. Bueno, esta es la respuesta. La solución, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Y puede ser al inicio o al final. El orden no altera el significado. Entonces... Puedo decir, I ask for a backup set when I forget my tools. O puedo decir, when I forget my tools, I ask for a backup set. Ok. Vamos a ver con if. Otra situación. Right. What do you do if you miss the company transportation? Veamos la respuesta. I call a taxi if I miss the company transportation. Lo puedo decir de las dos maneras, ¿verdad? El orden no va a alterar tampoco el significado acá. If I miss the company transportation, I call a taxi. Okay? Okay. Ahí tenemos ejemplos y tenemos la teoría, ¿verdad? La teoría. Mañana vamos a hacer todavía este ejercicio que tenemos abajo y vamos a hacer un ejercicio más online, ¿ok? Ok. Tomorrow. Hmm? Bueno, muchas gracias, teacher. No problem, yeah, no man. problem. Have a very good night, Carlos, and Thank see you, you tomorrow. Bueno, yo ya no, no voy a continuar con, con el siguiente módulo. How come? Es por cuestiones de trabajo y se oh. me ha complicado. All right. Entonces, tal vez retomo después, pero okay. ha sido yes. un gusto y, y muy amable con su explicación. For me too, it has been a pleasure. Okay, well, then well, have well. a very good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, bye bye.